All right, everyone. Uh, good morning. Welcome back to the fourth installment of uh, Gary Technologies um, Billing Fluency Webinar Series. Um, before we get started, uh, like we've done every morning so far, um, just make sure that you have your Digital Project V1R4 uh, started up before we before we get started. Um, you should find it on the desktop. Just double click. Um, may take a little bit of time to load up in memory, so um, get that started before I, I start. All right, so um, this is the, uh, the fourth in our series, um, which means we're nearing the halfway mark in this first series. The, um, the theme of this fourth will be extracting information. Uh, we'll be looking at <clears throat> some further use of data sheets and um, we're going to look at uh, filtering the model and really displaying the, the information embedded in the model. So again, um, this, uh, these, this series is basically providing a starting point um, for you to continue exploring digital project. Uh, Everything is going to be a live demonstration in a kind of a classroom format. Classroom also meaning that, you know, you're free to ask questions during the webinar. Um, my colleague uh, Bob Chen is monitoring the questions, and um, if anything comes up, please let me know, and uh, we can talk about it. Otherwise, we'll, we'll take it off um, afterwards, and, uh, and I'll be sure to answer your questions. So... Um, Later on, uh, following this series, we're going to have further webinars. Um, and again, uh, we invite your feedback. Um, it'll help to organize what the topics for the next webinars will include. Uh, so the goals for this webinar, um, first thing is we're going to extract some quick live measurement data from the digital project model. Um, you'll see that uh, measurements in digital project uh, work a little differently because you have basically live objects um, which are linked to the model. So if the model changes, the, the measurement um, will also change uh, and you don't have to go back and take the same measurement over and over again. You can retain those, those uh, measurements in your tree. Um, We'll look at we'll look a little further into data sheets, um, specifically model quantities. Um, this can, uh, for instance, this can deal with the volume of concrete in different elements of your building. Um, we'll look at how we can get model quantities out, um, and also use the search tool, which is a very powerful um, method for collecting different elements of the of the digital project model very quickly. Um, without having to jump through the elements of the model tree. Um, we're going to look at grouping elements. So there's different ways of looking at the model um, <clears throat> without having to actually move any of the, the model geometry in the tree. But instead, we kind of uh, take a, a reference view of different parts of the model um, and save that to our own file. So it's, we'll look at that in a little bit. And, I'll, and finally, we're going to visualize the model through the data. So we're going to take a certain aspect of the model and we're going to kind of re-visualize it to filter it and see the, the model in, uh, in the context of, of some uh, data parameters. So that'll come at the end of the presentation, um, demonstration. So again, um, during this, this webinar, it's, again, like a classroom setting. You're free to ask questions. We, we invite it. Uh, following the webinar, you can submit your questions to knowledge at gtglobal.com. Um, and there you'll uh, be able to get a response to your, your questions. So I wanted to address uh, something that came up last week. Um, some people... Uh, had some questions about creating the the beams that we went over last week. Um, we we had a catalog uh, that we pulled our information from, and some people didn't have that. So I wanted to to briefly 
uh, explain where that's at. So uh, here we are on the Gary Technologies website. Um, you'll see under events there's a webinar page. Uh, Shall be familiar with that by now. There's now also webinars questions and answer page. And if we go down there, um, I've included questions and answers to those questions that people have asked during the during and, and after the webinars. Um, hopefully these are these may be things that have uh, that may have come up for you um, that you uh, would like answered. So I want to point to the last question on this on this list here. Uh, someone had a question about the the steel catalog. It looked like that they that didn't show up when they went to create their um, their beam. So I just want to quickly show uh, I've included a link. Um, if you don't have the steel catalogs installed, that's something that you should go ahead and install. Um, it's on the downloads page, um, but also there's a direct link here on the Q and A page. If you click that, it takes you right to this this steel catalog page and you can download the the various steel catalogs and load them so that the next time when you try the example you should have those ready to access so let me um, so that's the that's the steel catalog and I also want to um, address the uh, uh, door schedule that we we looked at last week um, some of you may have had some uh, some issues with the door schedule showing dimensions of zero. So if you had that problem, um, I want to show how you can easily fix that. Uh, if you go to Program Files, you can see the address in the, the window here. It should be under Program Files. Gary Technologies, Digital Project V1R4, Project Standards, Startup, Templates, and Data Sheets. So that's that's basically again it's under your C drive, program files, Gary Technologies, Digital Project V1R4, Project Standards, Startup, Templates, Data Sheets. So under that, uh, there should be an AIA door schedule, and it's an it's an uh, Office uh, Excel template file. So if you open that up, you should be able to um, add uh, dimensions to that file. Uh, this is something that um, if you don't have, if that's not in your file currently. You may you may have seen that when you created the door schedule that there were uh, dimensions of zero here when you should see the dimensions of the doors. So all you need to do is add the dimension that you'd like um, in the fifth row here. Um, in this case, I put in inches, uh, but it could just as easily have been uh, meters. You could also do meters. Doesn't doesn't matter. But in this case, I did inches for the for the door size, width, height, thickness, and I also put under head, jam, and sill. So once I put that in, then I go to save. And um, it's immediately going to want to, because it's a template file, it's immediately going to want to save it as uh, an Excel worksheet uh, workbook file. So uh, we want to change that to a XLT file, not an XLTX file, but an XLT file. And then I'm going to go back to that location. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to file here. I'm going to paste that, hit enter. It takes me back to, to the data sheet uh, location. Then I just select my AA door schedule. And then I want to save over it. So do you want to replace the existing file? I say yes. And that's it. Once you do that, the next time that it creates a, a door schedule, um, 